Hello and welcome back to Tours and Tournaments. Last time we entered into the Civil War and now we have to figure out how to get ourselves out of it. This is probably the biggest internal revolt that we have had up to this point. In fact, I think it is almost definitely the biggest internal revolt we've had up until this point. But there are some positives and the positives are in here. And this is what I was looking at last time. I'm obviously going to fight the war, but the reason I was looking at what happens if we surrender is I want to know what the worst case scenario is, right? If everything goes wrong in the war, what happens? Well, we are deposed. So the worst case scenario, and Crown Authority drops, but that matters very little. Um, so the worst thing that happens is that this person becomes our character. That's not a problem for me. That's actually fairly okay. Okay, cool. So, in terms of things that could happen in a war that are bad, that's kind of worst. Now, um, the other thing is, we probably would be happy with White Peace. White Peace allows us to rightfully imprison a bunch of people, which seems good, and knocks a bunch of people out of factions. Also good. Enforced Demands um, gives us the actual imprisonment of the people, but I actually think that doesn't matter. And the reason I think that doesn't matter is I think that we would be able to imprison them anyway due to our uh, stats and just the general way that we run our realm. I think if we wanted to imprison them, we could imprison them. It's just giving us a re... Like that, that it's kind of like um, this one just does it for us. This one allows... Uh, we just have to click a button, right? So I think that this is fine. I think white piece is fine for us, which we are 30 away from. Now, uh, what are the other positives? Well, the other positive is that we're a great military leader, right? And I have been told that these only apply for leading an army. We're going to get all of these advantages. This is great for us because we are going to be very, very good at leading. And we do not want to be anywhere near our capital. So that's kind of going to work together. Why do we not want to be near our capital? Well, if we get captured, we instantly lose the war. So uh, I think we want to be away from our capital. And ideally, we kind of want our son to be away from the capital as well. Um, do I make my son a command, or like a knight? He might already be a knight, honestly. Let's have a look. Down at 24. He's, al he's already a knight. I'm going to force him to be a knight. Okay, so he's not going to be in our capital. We're going to be leading the army. We're not going to be in our capital. So our capital is worth 10% war score. Now it means we don't need to protect our capital. Cool. How are we going to win the war? So far I've got into the, we're fine if we, if, if we get to the surrender condition. We're looking for a white piece. But how do we actually win? Well, I think what we have to do first and foremost is try and take out any troops that are just kind of around. We need to figure out where the best spot to raise our troops is, right? We want to find out where we can raise our troops to take out the, uh, the most number of small armies, right? Like, for instance, up here, I could raise my troops here and we might be able to get into uh, Middlesex here and maybe get up in here to Staffordshire. Right? We might be able to take out those two armies. That's potentially 31,000 troops. I think these guys are already getting onto boats. I suspect these guys would get onto boats before we reached them. That's potentially thir uh, that's potentially uh, 31,000 troops. Okay. Is there a better option? Well, over here, we got 25,000, but they have no way of getting onto boats. Potentially raise our troops here and crush them? Potentially. It's an idea. Um, we could look at the leader of the war as well, but I don't think it matters for Tyranny. I don't think if we imprison her that matters at all. I might be wrong. Um, seeing where else we could raise our troops. We could raise them here. That's a guaranteed kill on an army. Seeing where else we've got. Uh, I don't think there's anywhere else that's going to be like much better. I suspect raising our troops here, defeating these armies, and then seeing what they do with our capital will be a good idea. Yeah, I think that's something to think. So we're probably wanting to raise our troops like... Probably not there, but like there. That seems good. You know what? Let's just do it. I'm just going to set our troops to raise. We're just going to raise the whole lot of them there. Right. Next up, what do we need to do? Uh, next up, we need to have a look at not any of these. Um, actually, raw cor hold court could be good. I think there are events that can help us. Let's see here. Rivals in agreement. Um... We have to tell you that uh, many in the realm are dissatisfied with the current tax regime. Um, okay, I'm going to say no, but we got some dread off for that. Personal matter. My lord, someone's trying to seduce your husband. Don't care. 
Um, a, I don't know here. Let's see. You can make a temple? Yeah. Cool, make a temple. Right. Done. So we didn't get any things that were helpful there, but I thought I'd have a look. You know what might also be helpful now that I think about it? Are we taking a negative from this yet? Uh, are we taking that negative? Let's have a look. Uh, causing no penalties. Okay. What I was going to say is what might be worth looking at was whether we wanted to get rid of our four extra provinces that we now have. No reason to. They cause no penalties, so we might as well keep them. Okay. That's fine. Um, next on our list. Let's just see if we've got anything in here that's going to be immediately useful. Uh, not a lot apart from our allies. Let's do our allies. So, get our mother in here. She's going to be raising our troops in Andalusia. So, down there. How old is she? She's 59 and she's on fine health. She might die, which is actually not ideal because, well, it'd be ideal if she raises our troops first because then we can control them. Oh, that was immediate. Okay, I thought you had to wait a few days for your allies to say yes, but whatever. We can also get France in. France is not bad, because they're actually going to be roughly exactly where we need them. Yeah, for, France and Andalusia are actually fantastic allies for us. I'd like to say that I meant it, but I didn't. Um, so they didn't immediately answer, but she did. Is she immediately answered because she's our mother and she's just she was like 100% yes or something? Okay, now we can call in house members. Um, can we even call in Granada? Because they're underneath there. Oh, I guess we can. Okay. Uh, we should call them all in and then Dynasty members as well. What does it cost us to call them? Nothing? I think it costs us nothing to call them because it's a... Oh, because it's a defensive war? Maybe? Yeah, I don't know. Whatever, I'm going to call them all in. Uh, Granada. We're going to call in Jerusalem. That's not top level Jerusalem. That's uh, a lower level Jerusalem. Seville. Uh, Balqua and uh, Cantabria. Yeah, let's get them in here. And then dynasty members. So, King of Jerusalem. We definitely want to call in. That costs us for now. Oh, maybe house members don't cost it, but dynasty members do. I think that seems reasonable. All right, so that's 16,000. Another 25 coming from Zenthseer. So, actually, that means we've got 55,000 coming from just that area, not including the lower vassals. Okay. Let's call you in. We have a lot of renown that we can spend here. Valencia as well. So that's 900 we've spent so far. Leon is 1,200. You're already getting called in. Uh, we'll see how things look at this point. I say I don't know if they're already being called in. Doesn't matter. Right. And then the rest of this, I think it is fine. There's not a lot we can do. Do we have anyone in our prison? No. Do we have any positions here that would help? Master of Horse of the horse definitely helps because it gives us knight uh, effectiveness we'll go for the best person that we can get because we're pure actually we'll go for our daughter because she's also pretty good because we're purely about getting that knight effectiveness okay wonderful right i think we're ready to go oh except for the fact that i need to lead this army there we go we do have a uh, 41 commander advantage, which is pretty good. I mean, these guys have slightly better ones. These are at war against me, so yeah, obviously they can't join. So we are our best option. We have rough terrain expert, reckless, which is not ideal because it can cause odd results, but might be good if we're fighting against the odds. Like, it could give us a chance. And then we have all of our bonuses. So let's go down to speed three for this and just see who gets called in at what times, and we'll, then we'll see what happens. Okay, bunch of allies joined war. More people are joining. Okay. Um, this is fine. Ooh, look at that. Our troops are actually superior quality with us leading them. That's cool. Happy with that. Okay. Keep raising troops. Okay, we're at 800 here. We've got a few more um, people to call in, I think. No? Okay. In which case, I'm going to get Asturias in as well. And I'm going to get these guys in. Caltrava. Okay. That's fine. That's our army. That's the one we want to fight. Neustria. Immediately, that's where I'm looking. Why am I looking at these guys? That's 26,000 troops. That's an easy win. 
Uh, we have 240,000 against 280,000 effectively. We can kill this army and maybe this one as well. We, we even in the numbers up. So let's hit over here. Speed four. Okay. Uh, can I still call in these? Um, no, I can't call in Dynasty members. Yeah, I thought that was the case. You can't call them in unless you have uh, the Renown to actually call them. Fortunately. Okay, head over here. Uh, we can now call them in, which is why I was trying to call them in in like a sensible manner. Rather than calling them in um, all at the same time. Because I wanted to make sure we got like the better ones first. Essentially. Chase them. It says we're going to fight here. This looks great. I'm, I'm in. They're not going to be able to run. Some of them might run, but we're going to catch them. No, they're not going to get out. Okay. So this is where we start. So they actually have reasonable knights to us, but they have 41,000 troops. And we have a lot of pursuit. We're going to hopefully kill quite a lot of them here. Rise Brooch has a low durability. Alright, I'll repair that. Uh, this is fine. Right. So, speed three, let's let this go. So, how many are they going to lose? Yeah, they're losing them quickly. So, we love to see here. Nobody has actually reached our capital, which is also fantastic. This is how many they've lost, and we haven't really reached the pursuit phase yet. This is great. Okay, let's see how many they actually lose. Okay. How did that look? So they lost. So we lost 3,000. They lost 10,000. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Uh, we also captured somebody. Oh, huh. okay. Whatever. Uh, where are you going to retreat to? Well, you're Neustria, right? Since when was Wales... Okay, that's a problem for another time. Um, so you're going to retreat to... There's... Let's see, if it's Neustria, you're going to retreat. Oh, it's all this, so probably, like, here, I reckon? Oh, I'm going to take attrition, in which case we should just take a siege. There we go. How are we looking in terms of numbers? So, we're a little bit lower, but we're getting there. Our, our allies are also all not here yet, so we, we would wait want to wait just a little bit for our allies to get here. Uh, if you land, I'm going for the. If this army lands, I'm going for them. I'm going for them. Let, let's go. Immediately, I want to fight them here. They ran? Or are they committed? They ran. Okay, wait. They're landing. They've landed. Perfect. I'm fighting. I don't know why it says we're going to lose. We're going to win. There's actually no chance we lose. This is not close. Assuming the 30,000 join us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're good. We're good. So we're winning 80,000 against 80,000. They got 30,000 joining. We got 30,000 joining. But we have another 17,000 joining from here. And we have another 27, another 17 here. And they have nobody else in sight. And another 25. So we 100% win this every time. So we have to hold on here until this army arrives, which is one day. The army arrives, we suddenly have more troops. Okay. We have a lot less knights, though. I guess because... Oh, that's actually a negative of us having so many vassals. Because we have so... Because we had so many duchy-level vassals. All of them got knights, right? So, given that they're all in the war against us, um, because they just piled all their armies together, they get the knights from every army, which is interesting. I mean, I think our knights might still be better, because we have a lot of high prowess knights with high effectiveness, but still. It's an interesting thought. Anyway, uh, more troops uh, arriving. We have a dreadful ruler, which means our dread has now reached 100. Cool. Okay. And now we're starting to crush them. Now we're starting to double the number of troops they have available here. These guys are coming over to help out, but they don't realize it's already done. Now we get to see how this looks. Okay, so how many did they lose? They lost 44,000. They're dead. They're not retreating. Those troops are gone. Ho-ho. Right. We're at 
And um, that's good. And they have 240. We have 230. I would love to fight that army if we can. It says we're going to catch them. Are you sure about that? <laughs> I'm not sure about that. But okay. Do you think we're going to get here first? I guess we are. I guess we have a lot of army movement speed, but... This seems absurd. <laughs> it is absurd. We went all the way around there and caught them. That's nuts. Poetic friendship. Um, thanks for the poem. Right. That army was white. So it's completely stacked. Wiped it. They lost 20,000 troops. We're now at 220 versus 240. Cool. I think I want to fight that army. This is our next target up there. So we'll move up here and catch him. Yep, we're going to catch him. We move so quickly. Look how these guys left at the same time as us. And they're like three provinces behind. Are you going to attack them? I'd really prefer if you didn't. I prefer if I get there first. I will get there first. I'm getting there quicker than his army can disembark. That's crazy. Okay. We have doubled their troops from the start here. They, they are lost. They got crushed. Was that a stack wipe? Uh, yeah, so you lost 47,000 there. Yeah, so that was another stack wipe. So we're now at 180 versus 246. <laughs> I would love to take out this army as well while we're here. Do we have capped war score from battles? I don't think we should, right? Because it's a defensive war. This army is so dead, they didn't even know it. <laughs> okay. Uh, head to Middleburg. And now attempt to win. Although what's also weird is that these aren't worth as much war score as you would think they should be worth. I guess because the sizes of the armies are so large. It's like... Okay, that's too much. <laughs> um, but I guess because the sizes of the armies are so large, it's kind of like... Um... Yeah, it scales on that, I guess. You really land... Oh, this is my... those are my allies. I thought these guys were landing here and I'm like... Uh, are they really? My allies gonna like move from my capital, or do you think they're just gonna stay there? Gertrude uh, has had a child. Okay, cool. Uh, anything in here I need to care about? Uh, I have a new dynasty member in Jerusalem. I can call in. All right. Um, I could head to Antwerp and start sieging. I guess that might be a good thing to do while I wait for these armies to figure out what's going on. Because we'll siege so much quicker than they siege. This only takes us 10 days. Nice. Okay. You're committing to this? I would love to commit to... Oh, you're not committing to this? What are you doing? Alright, I'm going to work my way over here. You want to fight? I'll fight. Yeah. Come on. They're backing off. Our troops are almost here. This is what we want. We want them to be indecisive. Now they're locked in, but how many are locked in? Uh, movement locked for two days. How long does it take me to get... Wait. Uh, you're going to arrive on the 13th. We're going to arrive on the 16th. But some, but not all of them are the 13th, right? Yeah, we're not going to catch them. That's fine. I'm just going to move my way in here. Could siege this one while we're here. Just let us have it. Are they attacking my troops around here? They are. Okay. Get there. We want to be in on this fight. Yep. Perfect. I also want to take over the fight if I can. Am I going to arrive before they do? Uh, we will arrive in two days. These guys are going to arrive in three days. So they were closer, but we arrived first. <laughs> It's not fair. It's very not fair for them, but that's okay. Oh, their enemy commander, however, is Roland, who has 55 advantage. That's crazy. Uh, and I didn't get to be commander. Which is not ideal. We do have more troops, though. Which I think is our advantage here, is that we have double their troops. Even though they had 190,000, we have double. Need a guardian for our daughter. Our daughter is going to have a... Uh, learning education is fine. Uh, she's going to be educated by a genius. And that is going to be you. And you're going to go to university. Wonderful. 
Right, now back to the battle. Uh, actually, is there anything else in here we need to do? Uh, I can use this. Okay, do it. Right, and back to the battle. Let's see how it goes. And... Don't care. And... Um, thank you for the cat. And... We won. Okay, how did that look? So, yeah, it's not the one we care about. It's this one. Battle. So, we lost 40,000. They lost 37. So, we both lost a significant chunk. But, we're now 40,000 troops ahead of them. We could white peace now. If we wanted to. Now it comes to the question of, is it better to white peace or enforce demands? Well, it is better to enforce demands. I think we can keep going here. I think I'm happy to keep going. Uh, we're not capped on battles, but that's because battles are worth almost nothing. Uh, we do have to keep fighting battles, in theory, however, or we need to start sieging a lot. We could do we could do quick sieges, I suppose. Let's take this. Oh, let's take Middleburg back because this one's wor um, against us, right? Yeah. Let's take that back. Okay. Keep going. And we'll see where their troops end up after this. This should only take a few days. Right, you're heading up here. Let's go. It's gonna catch them by getting to their destination almost before them. That's okay. Defeat the army. That army is gone. Worth 0% war score, which probably means it was worth a percentage of 0 uh, of 1% war score. That's fine. Push our way into the next one. 20,000 troops. We have also wiped. That one was worth 4% and it wiped their troops, which now means we're 160 versus 210. And we can take living off the land, which gives us more supply capacity, which would have been useful before we raised our troops, but whatever. Right. I would love to get here. Yeah, let's do it. Sun has learned a new language. Okay. You're now going to study Godelic. Sure. That seems fine to me. We have so many prisoners. We have 26 prisoners right now. It's crazy. We're going to catch the... Oh, we were going to catch them before they could do it. You'd see the AI going, oh, not going to escape, not going to escape, not going to escape. We are going to catch them here, though. There we go. Another 15,000 troops. This should be a wipe, right? We, we became overwhelmed by stress because our friend died. Oh, okay. That's fair. Uh, these have low durability. I'm going to destroy that for money. That's fine. Uh, let's go. We have just defeated another one. Um, we actually have ticking war score now because we control all of our land. They haven't seized a single bit of land that we held, which is crazy. Um, what I'm going to do very quickly is I'm going to de-assign ourselves as commander. Which now means that I can... Whoa, too many. That means I can talk to Confidant. And seclude ourselves. And then train for a tournament. Cool. Right, and then we can reassign ourselves in charge of the army. Which, you know, is a bit of an odd mechanic, but that's okay. Uh, is there anything we can siege here? Or are we hostile to? So I need to head south if I want to siege. Okay. Uh, let's maybe head to Bruges. Seems reasonable. Right. Which is also where they're, they're heading to Middleburg. So actually that's perfect. We're going through anyway. Uh, snake at court. That's fine. Don't care about things being under siege. We're going to catch them over here. It's going to be great. Uh, yeah, I would love this fight. Okay, we're taking it. 86 versus 71. We have more of our side joining. We're continuing to win. Sun has learned high German. We're going to teach him uh, the Magyar language. Okay. And we crush their army again. There we go. That was a lot, it felt. Yeah, 46,000 to 13,000. <laughs> Just starting to get them. And we got the commander who's led the last couple of armies. That's fantastic. Do we still take him war score? We do. Wow. Okay. Oh, siege this one. That's good. I was overwhelmed by stress because my friend died again. Okay, I mean, it's a different friend, not the same friend, but would have meant we'd been at level 3 stress had uh, we not lowered it just then, which is nice. 
a good choice for once on our part. Oh, I would love to get that over there. Let's go make sure that that army does not siege everything. We're, we're, yeah, we've got them to break the siege. That's fine. I want to move into Cologne and catch them. Or maybe down here. There we go. That's a wipe, I think. Should be, anyway. Based on the other ones that we've had. Yep, that is the end of that army. So, pretty conclusively dead. Right. Uh, next one. Are we, Oh, wait, are we capped? We are capped to 50. Okay, cool. So we do cap on Battle War score. Let's head to Brabant. We'll do a quick siege here. How many troops do they have now? 121,000 versus their 240. We've actually gained more troops back uh, in, since last time we checked. Um, yeah, this is good. All right, siege it. Want to just take any sieges that we can because it makes our life easier. Uh, actually, you know what? Here, I'm going to ignore these guys. They're going to be stupid. They're going to try and siege Middleburg. I'm going to just siege Battle. I'm just going to take this. There we go. So, we have now won the war. Uh, enforced demands. So, it turns out our armies are pretty good, huh? <laughs> like, in terms of tech. And in terms of us being a leader. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, let's disband all of our armies. Do they still hate me due to tyranny, by the way? Oh, of course they do. Yeah. And for being over the domain limit. They now hate me at 195. What's the vassal that, like, hates me the most? Mine is 100. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, opinion of you? Yeah, some still like me at 100. And they're in prison, currently. <laughs> That's crazy. That's absolutely nuts. Okay. Now we have to figure out what to do. Because <laughs> now... We hold quite a lot of land over here. Uh, which we probably don't want to hold directly. And uh, we have a lot of vassals in prison. Like, a lot of vassals. Like, 78 prisoners. My god. That's too many prisoners. <laughs> We're going to have to make a system to organize how to deal for all the prisoners. Hello. Um, you're making a declaration to my wife? Sure, whatever. Uh, it doesn't bother me. We have, uh, like, air spare and spare spare, so I think we're mostly okay in terms of, like, even if she does sleep with someone else, it's not going to affect our succession, so I'm not overly bothered. Um, you're marrying my heir, that's fine, just remembering why I pinned you. Okay. You know what I might do? What I might do is I might end the episode here. And then next time we can come back with a different mindset. Today's episode was all about winning the, uh, like winning the war. Tomorrow's episode is going to be about, well, what do we do now? So, we'll think about it then. But before we end the episode, we have the Tulinid check-in. They're exactly the same, but they have a lot more troops. We have the Mongol check-in. They are actually starting to win their war. They're still invading Tibet. This has been a long war. But, also, look at that. The the realm that they're invading is, is split up already. Like, they're, they're now... Um, they're still attacking these guys, but they don't exist in the same manner that they used to. Like, all of this is someone completely different. Who is also in wars with this person, which is... Yeah, anyway. It's all going crazy over there. They're all splitting apart and falling apart, which is great for the Mongol Empire, because they love things to fall apart so they can eat them. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I'm going to end the episode there. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.